Hey Alpha Strikers, welcome back to Professor Irks' X-Teams. My name is Professor Irx, and I have an awesome team for you today. So, you guys have been begging for us to show off Joker's Wild, and so I took it upon myself to make this awesome Joker team. So, the team is a Gotham City Underworld themed team at 300 points. It could also be an Arkham Asylum themed team if you so wish because these Joker thugs do not break your theme as long as the Joker is on your team. Let's go ahead and see who's on the team. First and foremost we have the Joker himself right here rocking 140 points the bulk of your team as some would say. This Joker is amazing. So he's got traded poison which is penetrating to all characters lower points in him at 140 points that's most of what's modern and then he also has you know of course his mastermind that can't be precision striked really awesome ability that gives him range combat expert with his range of six and when he hits you characters are given up with two action tokens he'll be your primary attacker guys this is the guy you want to focus on he's great next to him there we have firefly this guy is kind of fixing some flaws that Joker has. He has no movement attack, so we need a transporter to carry him around. And it just so happens he has the same keywords, so that's pretty awesome. Um, Firefly will be your secondary, if not primary, attacker with energy explosion and the fire marker he gives out when he hits. Then, from Joker's Wild, we are playing two of the Joker thugs. Now these 10 point thugs are mostly going to be just fodder for Masterfind, Mastermind. So keep that in mind but they are really cool because they have toughness so they can reduce incoming attacks. They each have three clicks so they might be able to take a good hit and not quite die. But remember guys giving up 10 or 20 points versus 140 points this is well worth it. Plus if Joker is targeted and hit you can then use a Joker Thug who are adjacent to him to basically swap spots and take the hit for him, even if it'd be illegal. That can help with pulse wave attacks. That can help with just all kinds of different scenarios, guys. So they are really, really good. And then a surprising addition from a past set, we have Jake Williams' champ piece, Harley Quinn. This Harley Quinn is super super effective so she picks a puddin she can pick joker or firefly because they're higher points and they become her puddin so she can give them perplexes and prob all their rolls she also has outwit with a range of five so she will actually be your support slash tertiary attacker with the joker and firefly she also has calculator, so she can copy team abilities and pick up some stats there as well. Let's go ahead and show you how the team starts off. So, in your starting area here, we definitely want Firefly close to Joker, because he's going to be carrying him around. We need Harley Quinn to be able to carry around the Joker thugs. So, that's your starting position normally. To begin, let's go ahead and make a threat range with the Joker. So we're going to have Firefly carry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He has a speed of 10, so he can go up to 8. But I feel that having the height advantage can really help. And the reason why I have them on objects out here is because he has stealth. And I always like putting stealth kickers on an ultra heavy object because they're much harder to get rid of. So that's their threat range. You now count. One, two, three, four, five from Firefly and six from the Joker. You have basically dominated half the map. If your opponent comes up too far, they will get shot on the way in. So that's really good to think about. Now, what to do with Harley Quinn and the Underworld thugs here? The Joker thugs? She's going to copy the Underworld team ability where if you give her a move action, she can carry up to two of them as long as they're lower points. So she cannot sidestep, unfortunately, because that's a free action, but one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to put her right here. Q, 
carrying the two thugs up where they need to be, right behind Joker, just in case something gets dicey. All right, guys, and then that's your first move. Now, we go forward a little bit more, and say so your opponent starts coming up, they stay out of your threat range. That's okay. They may or may not have forgotten that Harley Quinn is a good support piece. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a turn and just clear our figures and see what the opponent does. Because what they do next could be very detrimental to your team. So you got your mastermind back up. You got a guy who has invulnerable. He can take a hit. It's all good. Let's say they come up a little bit further. They're still out of your threat range. They're, let's say they're one square out of your threat range. There. Harley Quinn, give her a free action once per game to pick a pudding. She'll pick the Joker, for instance, right here. So now she can give him perplexes and prob controls. When she has a token, she can sidestep to here. And then you can have her pick Batman enemy team ability with her calculator. So they now all share Joker's 11 attack. So Joker can now go perplex from Harley Quinn, 7 range, range combat expert, hit a guy, give him two tokens, possibly pushing them, locking them down for a whole turn. That is incredible. Say you miss your roll, she's got prob control, so they have a really high reducer, you won't do much damage. She has outwit with six range, so if, if you know, obviously they're within seven, you can't outwit them, but that's okay. You have options to outwit other people. Firefly can also just take off and running shot if he wishes, but it'd be better to keep Joker with him because he gets the 11 attack from Joker. But if you feel the Joker has nerfed somebody enough and you can go up with him in secondary attack, do so. And that's the team, guys. That's how it works. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us how we're doing. If you guys want to shout out the team, feel free. Um, one thing you can do to make this team really, really brutal if you want to, you could break the theme completely, play Calculator and Shiva for another 100 points for a 400-point team, and share 12s all day, every day, and just wreck face. But have fun with it. Tell me how it did for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember... Strike first and strike hard.